Hello, Sally. Good morning. Welcome to Kakaki Social. I am Ohimai Amaize. This is the segment of the show where we present to you the issues that shape conversations in the Nigerian social media. Blood, sorrow, tears yesterday as members of the Nigerian security forces comprising the army and the police fired live bullets at uh, a procession of members of the Nigerian uh, uh, Islamic uh, movement of Nigeria, also known as the Shiites. Uh, uh, yesterday, uh, that issue dominated conversations uh, in the Nigerian social media. You would recall that on Saturday, uh, the Nigerian army also had a clash with members of the Islamic uh, movement of Nigeria at Zuba in uh, Abuja, where uh, life bullets were also used uh, on uh, citizens in footages, the stubborn footages that we saw uh, over the weekend. Uh, yesterday, again, uh, we saw a bloodbath in the city of Abuja, and when uh, the military clashed again with Shiite uh, protesters uh, or a Shiite pr procession as we learned uh, based on the reports that have been filtering into the social media. Uh, let's take a look at how this issue panned out yesterday. Breaking tension in Abuja as army opened fire on Shiites. We'll take a look at some very uh, uh, disturbing images uh, that filtered into the social media yesterday. Let's take a look at some images uh, courtesy of Legit NG. Used to be Naij. Uh, now these were pictures yesterday from the, that development that we saw uh, yesterday that uh, has generated a lot of talk in the social media about whether the army should be using live bullets to uh, to quell uh, protesters, uh, no matter how violent the protesters are. Uh, these are images yesterday. Uh, you can see people lying on the ground, uh, a chaotic situation that we saw in the city of Abuja yesterday. And these are men of the Nigerian police and combined with the military, with the Nigerian army, trying to uh, arrest that situation. We take a look at this video that captured the uh, moments from that disturbing event. Okay. Uh, the, the footage you saw is a footage from Nigeria, not Afghanistan or Somalia, uh, from Shwaibu Ibrahim uh, tweeting at YMM Shwaibu breaking. Nigerian army are shooting again at Onam Shiites, mailing women and children at Maraba who are just protesting injustice. I can confirm that 15 Shiites have been killed so far. Uh, we cannot confirm that, but this is the social media commentary from that particular tweet, uh, Twitter user. Amnesty Niger Nigeria tweeted and said, fatalities as a result of soldiers use of maximum force in confrontation with IMM protesters demonstrates that the security forces we are not seeking to maintain public order but to mother. Hashtag Shiites, hashtag Nigeria. This is from Amnesty Nigeria tweeting. I'm from Ayo Bankole. We saw this tweet. Nothing, absolutely nothing, justifies opening fire on civilians that our military had nothing else to use on Shiites. Water bullets, rubber bullets, tear gas, buttons, or anything else is an indictment on the primitive nature of our military. These killings are totally condemnable. A lot of con condemnation coming yesterday uh, on the side of the military. And from Gimba Kakanda, uh, we saw this tweet. The last time we attempted to kill an insidious ideology with bullets, we created monsters who have turned thousands of Nigerians and non-Nigerians into widows, widowers, and orphans. Address the reason the Shiites are disturbing our peace, for God's sake. What is wrong with us? From Gim Gimba Kakanda, we saw that tweet. And from uh, uh, Friars um, or Madina, we saw this tweet. Blood everywhere. Shiites, IPOB, the people of Kaduna, Benue, and Zamfara. But the presidency is unconcerned. One half is preoccupied with meeting party members in view of his re-election. The other half is moving around, giving lectures and writing poems on Twitter. Uh, from Twitter is a friars on Medina. We saw that tweet. And from Badmos Akim in 2016, Amnesty Nigeria reported that in December 2015, Nigerian soldiers killed over 350 IMN supporters in Zaria. Dozens died when soldiers set fire on El Zagzaki's compound. Irrespective of difference in ideology, Shiites are humans too and should be treated like humans. Uh, from Twitter user Badoski, we saw that tweet and then uh, uh, we'll take a look at uh, more tweets yesterday on this issue from Mr. ID on the contrary note tweeted, anyone who does not know the Shiite movement in Nigeria is a proxy for Iran is seeking to overthrow 
in seeking to overthrow the Aso Rock and install what they consider a theocracy, he's not paying attention. This is a comment from Twitter user Mr. AD and from uh, Ali underscore Hunko. We saw this tweet. I'm not trying to excuse the army, but living in this country should make any reasonable fellow to think that you don't attack the man with a gun, let alone the military. Hashtag Shiites. These are comments uh, from Nigerians in the wake of uh, uh, renewed violence that we saw yesterday in the city of Abuja from Mik underscore NZ Mike uh, tweeting. Is Abuja still safe? Shiites versus army. Uh, a lot of concerns from Nigerians over the security situation in the city of Abuja. And while that was going on, a press release from the Nigerian army. Islamic movement in Nigeria attacked soldiers and police on duty at Kubo Karu checkpoint on Monday, 29th October. Uh, let's take a look at excerpts from that report. They attached some images to that tweet. Uh, but let's take a look at excerpts from that press release. Troops of the Nigerian army deployed on routine duty at Kubo Karu breach checkpoint of the federal capital territory were attacked by the Islamic movement in Nigeria, IMN sect, at about 3 p.m. on 29 October 2018. They fired weapons at own troops, throwing bottle canisters with fuel, large stones, catapults with dangerous objects and other dangerous items at troops, causing bodily harm and stopping motorist movement, breaking their windscreen and causing heavy traffic. However, troops repelled the attack in conjunction with the Nigerian police force to stop the situation from det further deteriorating. Unfortunately, during the encounter, three members of the sect were killed and uh, some uh, members of the Nigerian police force and of course the army were injured. As you can see, one of them in that uh, photograph sustained injuries from Peter Ayo Daily Fire Share tweeting at Governor Ayo Fire Share fresh out of EFCC detention. Disturbing news about shooting of protesting Shiite Muslims. Don't we have civilized way of addressing protests by, by citizens of Nigeria? And then he followed in another tweet, uh, fire shed weighing in on the issue we saw yesterday. He said, in this country, convoy of a sitting president was attacked with stones in Bauchi. No one was shot. God bless Dr. Goodluck Jonathan, the last Democrat to rule Nigeria. Uh, Ayo Fire Share tweeting just moments after he stepped out of EFCC detention. Of course, yesterday, Ayo Daily Fire Share, immediate past governor of Ekiti State, has regained his freedom from the custody of the EFCC. Uh, this report broke yesterday. And then uh, let's take a look at how Nigerians reacted to this in the social media. Uh, <laughs> Larry Olainka's Media 8 was the first to break the news. He shared pictures of Fire Share stepping out in style <laughs> from detention. Fire Share steps out of detention. And uh, let's take a look at some comments uh, that immediately followed. I am happy that Governor Fireshare has been released. He has killed the fear of EFCC. God has used him to show that he is on the throne. Dear Ayodele, fear not. The God you and your wife worship will never abandon you. Always speak the truth without fear or favor. God will raise you again. From Twitter user Zege123 and from SA underscore Clint, we saw this tweet. Stepping out of detention does not make him innocent. Let the court decide. And if he is found guilty, let him go to jail. Simple. Uh, from that Twitter user and then from uh, Seed, of, Seed of World. At the Bayer Dewale, we saw this tweet. Mr. Fireshare was accused of stealing public funds. But to my greatest surprise, people are still praising him as if he has won a medal. God help Nigeria. Uh, these are tweets from Nigerians. And then from John Danfulani, Governor Fireshare is my kind of guy. I love rugged and dogged fighters. He confronted his, prosecutor, his persecutors with confidence of a young lion. Oshoku Mole the Great uh, from John Danfulani. We saw that tweet. And from Maybex, uh, tweeting at uh, Mayubeku, tweeting at Maybex. While Fireshed dealt the EFCC, regained his freedom, and now seen as a man who survived EFCC onslaught, Akbabio, despite the words of encouragement from some PDP stalwarts, ran to hide under the bed, cave in like a coward. Fools die from Maybex there. And then from that issue, we move on to one issue that has also sparked off uh, a lot of commentary in the Nigerian social media. Vice President Shibajo has said that uh, he is learning Shaku Shaku dance to ahead of the 2019 presidential election. That issue has generated the debate in the social media. Let's go on and take a look at that uh, report. Punch fired it. He said, we are learning Shaku Shaku dance steps for our campaign. Or Shibajo. Uh, let's take a look at how Nigerians were reacting uh, to this report in the social media. K underscore the biggest uh, tweet and said, uh, Buari and Prof. Shibanjo, remember what happened to Adeleke? He said he would dance to the government house. Your failure has just begun. You have not solved our problems. You are dancing. And then uh, let's go on uh, from Chuk uh, Obidima. We saw this tweet. You are learning Shaku Shaku dance steps. One Shaku to Dara. The other Shaku to Lagos. I hope the dance teacher has have Waek too from Chuk Obidima. We saw that tweet. And then from Godwin underscore right hope. 
we saw the street continue. God is watching. Learning dance when millions of Nigerians are losing their jobs. Shameless, lifeless, clueless, and certificateless gang. <laughs> Nigerians have no chill on the social media. Uh, let's go on and take a look from this Twitter user at Tuluku underscore Victor One. We saw this tweet. Instead, you should learn how to move this country forward, reducing loss of lives and poverty from Atuluku uh, Victor. And of course, Senator Ben Bruce, the common sense senator, also weighed in on this matter. He tweeted, under your watch, 11 million jobs created by other administrations have been lost. Naira has lost 80% of her value, and Nigeria has been named the world headquarters for extreme poverty. Yet, Oshibaja's priority is learning Shaku Shaku dance. I would laugh if I wasn't so sad from Senator Ben Murray Bruce firing shots at Vice President Yemi Oshibajo. And of course, Peter Obi taunts Oshibajo. We are focused on how to create jobs, not learning Shaku Shaku from uh, the running mate to uh, former Vice President Atiko Obaka, now presidential candidate of the PDP. From that issue, now we move on to another issue that has been trending on Instagram. Uh, <laughs> Governor of Cardinal State, Malam Nasir Erufai, uh, took his, well, you don't call it a swipe, but uh, had a banter with uh, Mark Bayogun of Channels Television. Uh, let's take a look at excerpts of that uh, report, which has been trending on Instagram. Uh, Maybe you need more lessons in English language. Erufai test mark where let's take a look at that video and the comments that followed. I'm dealing with. Don't you think that's just denigrating? It's not denigrating. It's 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 uh, it's, 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 it's a statement. Uh, uh, what you, it's an idiom. I don't mean that exactly it's an animal or anything. You know what I'm talking about. If you don't know, then maybe you need more lessons in English language. It's as simple as that. Okay. And from Ima Chivas <laughs> posting on Insta blog, short people and trouble is like rice and beans. <laughs> and from Mr. Fab on Insta blog Niger, we saw this comment. Good for her. This channel TV presenters that like to form CNN. She does this to our guests on Sunrise Daily. And from Biggest Sheep 123, short man, you now know the animal you are dealing with. But when you were busy visiting him for votes, then he was not an anima at all. And then more comments from Bubu underscore Jones 77. Erufa is a very smart and intelligent man. I guess she got burnt by her own fire. Smallish man with big sense. And from Kama of Lagos, well, she does need additional lessons in English. These anchors like putting words in their guests' mouths so they can put them in trouble. Sally and Utive, I don't know about that. <laughs> you guys are the anchors uh, from official Gino. Uh, where Erufai passed Komot, thought KD is under 24 hours curfew. Well, he's the governor of the state. He can beat the curfew. From that issue now, we move on to another issue that was trending on Instagram yesterday, on Instablog particularly. Man seen fighting a cat pusher inside the gutter for slightly scratching his car today in Lekki, Lagos. Let's take a look at that video and some comments that followed. For, for scratching his car, they had to get into a gutter fight, as you can see in that video. Uh, Nigerians reacting on Instagram. So Mito said, uh, maybe he's the driver and he signed a contract that nothing must happen to the car. That's the only explanation why he's inside the gutter fighting with someone who can possibly fix his scratch car. And from Funk's side, what's going on with lucky people these days? What's the cause of the frustration? Eh? <laughs> You're asking what's the cause of the frustration? Uh, are you not in Nigeria? And then from j Ban for real, the man fighting the cat, cat pusher must either be a driver or the car is on serious loan. And from just underscore Pado, he's a driver. The old guy will sack him if he brings his scratch car home. And from Funk's side again, okay, we've seen this comment before. What's going on with lucky people? There seems to be so much frustration in the country right now. We move on from this issue also to one interesting video we also saw, the scary moment fashion design designer Onwosu got stuck in an elevator. A video has emerged of the moment Nigerian celebrity fashion designer Yvonne Onwosu got stuck inside an elevator yesterday in the Oriental Hotel in Lagos. Scary thing, it has actually happened to me at a hotel during the London 2012 Olympics at the Savoy Hotel in London. Help, I can't breathe! I'm sweating! I can't fucking breathe! Like... Jesus! Wait, 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 be careful now! No, 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 no! Wait, wait, if this thing should drop and I die, 
May you not get stuck in an elevator. Only your enemies will be stuck in an elevator. <laughs> okay, this is how we wrap it up on Kakaki Social this morning. Follow the conversation on our social media platforms at Kakaki Social on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Kakaki Social. I am Ohimaya Maize. Kakaki Social returns tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Uh, stay tuned as I hand you over back now to Sally and uh, Utive.